it's Christmas Eve, so I figured I would film one last holiday hair tutorial. This could also be used for um, New Year's or any other holiday party. And the main reason is because I'm going to be trying out the Schwarzkopf Session Texture Hairspray that they so generously gifted me before the launch happens in January. So I'm gonna be using this to give a lot of extra texture and hold into my style today. And we'll get to see what I think about it. This label. Oh, it's already cracked. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is spritz a little bit of this to start getting that grit. My hair is, you can already see the volume. My hair is pretty clean right now. Only, I washed it on a couple days ago. So I still have that really soft feel into it and I wanna get a little bit more grit. So. From what I understand with this product, the more you layer it on, the more hold and texture and grit you're gonna get. So, just brushing out my waves, that way I can have something a little bit softer, and I'm also gonna be curling over top of the waves that I have going on right now. Let me give another extra little. There goes the cap. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is section from kind of the top of the ear and I'm gonna take out pretty much an entire piece. I actually want this to be a little bit bigger because I want the braid to be nice and thick. I want, I'm going to take the rest of my hair and I'm just gonna tie it out of the way. So I'm gonna take my texture spray again and I'm gonna spritz it quite a bit on this piece. This is gonna be the braid and therefore the crown. So you're just gonna do a regular fishtail. The way I'm gonna flip it is going to be like this and I'm gonna flip it up. So the reason that I want my fishtail, like I'm almost gonna turn it this way while I'm braiding it. That way everything that I'm doing and seeing is gonna be here and then when I flip it up, it'll be on the top. So separate into two relatively even sections and grab from the back, bring from the front, cross over, cross over, and repeat this all the way down. pretty much all the way to the bottom just because the length of my hair when I swing it over this way I want to make sure that there's braid all the way through and I'm almost just doing a regular braid now turning it into three strands just so I can really get right to the ends of the hair so I'm gonna secure that with a small clear elastic And now I'm going to pancake the braid out and use a pinch and pull technique. So I'm gonna use the hairspray again. This stuff's gonna be dangerous. It smells so good, I'm gonna use it all the time. And I'm basically going to pinch and pull my braid out. So I'm not starting right, right from the bottom because I can assume that that chunk is gonna be tucked in. And I can always go back and pull it out if I'm wrong. And I don't want this to be too neat. I don't want every single area of the braid to look exactly the same. I kind of just want it to be really messy and disheveled. some finishing touches on my pinch and pull trying to stretch these little bottom ones where the hairs are a bit shorter as much as I possibly can that way the 
density is relatively even all the way through. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so I'm gonna take this ponytail out. I'm gonna make sure everything is still nicely separated. That way the braid can sit over top. And I'm actually gonna do a little separate section on this side behind the ear as well, cause that's where the braid is going to end up. So I'm gonna get this out of the way in the back. And I'm gonna be using some gold bobby pins to secure the braid. So I'm gonna take the braid, like I said, making sure that I'm flipping it kind of up. My first pin is gonna go on the opposite end, that way I can secure it. And I'm gonna crisscross those pins, that way they stay, so I'm making an X shape. Awesome. And depending on where you want the crown to sit, you can decide for it to sit through the top, a little closer, a little further back. I like it to just sit in the middle. So I'm gonna put one pin in and down to secure that in there and it's hiding in the braid. And I'm gonna use one final pin for this side just to really get these edges down. I'm printing up into the braid. It will. So you could either choose to leave your hair like this, or I'm gonna add a tiny little bit of a different wave over top. So I'm going to use my Davinus Melu Hair Shield, which is basically going to um, protect from the heat, spray it on my dry hair, and I'm gonna just wait a couple minutes for this to 100% dry before I put any hot tool on it. Now I'm going to use my Amica Chameleon um, Curling Wand on the second from the largest barrel. So one size down, just to add a little bit of a different texture. So I'm just taking a couple fine pieces and curling over top of the texture that I already have in there. I'm curling all of these away from the face just because I know that there's gonna be different textures in between so they're not gonna look too uniform or anything like that if I curl them all the same direction are all in looking a little too curly for my liking so I'm gonna go back in with the texture spray and separate it I haven't noticed that the spray is getting sticky or anything even after spraying before and curling over top which is really nice so I'm assuming that the closer you spray it to the hair and you know if you really load it in there you'll get that texture kind of gritty sticky feel if you want that but so far it's really nice and lightweight so I'm gonna spray kind of like what I would do with another texture spray and spray from underneath Give it a shake and a scrunch. Kind of cover over that little hole where my braid crown is coming from. That's my skinny side and you can already see how much movement is in there.
All right. And that's my final look. So a nice braid crown just for a little bit of something fun for the holidays and working on two different textures of hair and definitely I would recommend this texture spray to anybody. I'm so excited for it to come out and I'm probably gonna go through this bottle really quickly so January can't come any faster. Hope you guys have a really great holiday season. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at alchemyxartistry. I'll be putting that into the description down below. And yeah, thanks for watching.